Although the musky season here in Ontario doesn't open until the second or third week in June, my endeavor begins long before then, minus the fishing gear of course. When the water temperature in the shallow back bays reaches 16 degrees Celsius or about 60 degrees Fahrenheit, I go scouting for spawning muskies. Besides the obvious benefits of being in the great outdoors during the most invigorating time of the year, I'm also employing a strategy that will hopefully enhance the success of my up-and-coming musky season. The strategy is simple. Identify active musky spawning areas and use this knowledge to track their location on opening day. My search usually begins on shallow flats near or just inside the mouth of a calm back bay, preferably with an incoming creek. The most common sightings at this time will be lone post-spawn males that are lingering in the warmth of the shallow water. The telltale signs of a post-spawn male are the gashes or scars on his flank toward the tail. These scars occur when the male violently fans the water with his tail to disperse both his milt and the eggs being dropped by the female. Keep a keen eye out for these lone fish as they will be quite skittish. I like to stand on the bow of my boat and quietly snake my way across the shallow flats and along weedy shorelines using an electric trolling motor under calm, sunny skies. As you move to the back of the bay, look for slightly cloudy water clarity with last year's weed or cattail growth. Grass mats, broken reed stalks in combination with a dark, muddy bottom will hold the sun's heat and attract bait fish, which is the key ingredient to identifying prime spawning habitat. Most of the clues you're looking for can be seen with a good pair of polarized sunglasses and a stealthy, quiet approach. The best areas will have a healthy population of adult minnows in the 1 to 3 inch class. Young musky fry will depend on this forage base during their first year of development. Other species such as bass and bullheads will seek out the same forage and contribute their offspring to the food chain. These fish also become a post-spawn snack for a hungry muskie. When present, large schools of bullheads will be plainly visible in two to four feet of water. Muskies have been known to feed almost exclusively on bullheads during the spring. Everything in the natural world is timed in perfect sequence and balance. Now, if our timing is right, and if all the necessary factors are present, we might actually get to meet the star of the show, a trophy-sized female muskie. Big females like this 50-inch class fish are rarely seen during my scouting forays. Muskies usually spawn at night or in low light conditions when the water temperatures reach 55 degrees Fahrenheit. Unlike pike and gar though, where a single female may be courted by several males simultaneously, muskies mate in exclusive pairs only. A large female muskie such as this one can lay as many as 265,000 eggs which she disperses randomly while swimming and as I mentioned earlier the male adds his milt and mixes it all up with the thrashing of his tail. You'll notice here how the spawning pairs seem to take my presence in stride. Common for spawning pairs to be completely preoccupied with the job at hand. So if you do encounter this scenario, please try not to interfere by touching or harassing the fish. When spawning is complete, Big Mama is the first to make her way back to deeper water. She'll stop along the way to rest, recuperate, and occasionally feed. you can bet your bottom dollar that when the season opens, I'll be looking for these fish as they drop back to nearby points and shorelines just outside the spawning bay. So there you have it. Start your musky season by getting out in your boat and identifying those early spawning areas by viewing the size and numbers of the fish using the area. You'll be able to make an informed decision on where to start your search on opening day. Find the correct temperature, find the grass and reeds, find the bait fish, correct water depth and clarity, and you'll find muskies. But most of all, just get out there and enjoy the view. <laughs>